Dockers forward Jai Amos is bracing for more attention from the opposition in 2024 as he prepares to lead Fremantle's forward line. The 20-year-old roaming around the Ford 50 at Optus Stadium giving us an exclusive insight into his approach on field. He's the future of Frio's forward line. He's going to send it high into the pocket. Amos! A huge leap from the youngster! Jai Amos expecting extra attention after a breakout 2023 season which yielded 41 goals. Obviously, might get targeted a bit more this year, um, obviously after the year I had last year. Preparing to handle the heat from bigger bodied opponents by bulking up this pre-season, adding five kilograms to his 196 centimetre frame. I feel like my body's in a good place at the moment and um, sort of my first full pre-season I've had since I've been at the club. I'm obviously lower body, um, strength and power was a big one uh, for the off-season. Um, and then, yeah, a bit of upper body power to be able to push off opponents and use my body a bit more. Leaning on last year's learnings from being exposed to some of the competition's best defenders. Uh, Rampy was probably the hardest, um, Dane Rampy from Sydney. Um, and then, oh, likes of Sam Taylor, played on him a bit. And then, um, yeah, obviously some of the other intercepting defenders like Darcy Moore. Do you find that you're playing on taller and, and bigger guys? I think so, but um, I think... Yeah, obviously I'm starting to get different oppo as well because I think I can use my speed good, but then one-on-one -on -one I can become dangerous too. Because if an opponent's yeah. pushing you and getting you out of the way, like you need other tricks to get loose, don't yep. you? And whether it's pushing off, some defenders are real sticky um, and some sit off and just stand in the space. And obviously you want to know where the ball is as well. So if you're taking your eyes off the ball and focusing on your defender, that's exactly what he wants. Determined to keep his opponents guessing. Obviously you're dragging your defender, but yeah, if you hit through with... Um, quite good pace, you may drag two or three it's to get back and crumb as well, so it sort of works. So if they're going with you legitimately and then you, you turn quickly, it's going to be hard for me to get any body on you, yep. right? And so therefore you're saying, I'm going to get back to the contest first, Yep. snap a goal. Yep. And usually you have a bigger defender that you may be more agile, you might be a bit yeah. quicker. Being a tool, being able to crumb at ground level I think is pretty dangerous. Mm. Um, and obviously I looked at Jeremy Cameron growing up and um, that sort of thing, but um, yeah, being able to ground level and then kick a goal, um, I think something I've yeah, sort of built into my game. Defenders are going to sit proactive these days, they're going to sit in corridor where the space is. Um, so I think being able to drag them out and create more one on ones. Confident he's got the avenues to escape footy's pressures. And I'm quite a quiet, calm sort of guy, so um, I don't mind being by myself and quiet. Time at sea, his bread and butter. Whether it's off the rocks, off the beach. Um, Gone out of Safety Bay a couple of times and out a bit deeper and caught some jewfish. It's the calmness of it, like um, being able to just be by yourself or be with people that you love. Finding an outlet away from footy crucial as he prepares to lead Frio back to finals.